Hi everybody, it's me again and I'm bringing to you a Revolution First Impressions makeup. I've got the Revolution quite a bit, it's mostly Revolution. There is some bits that are not that I will be going into all the stashes that I've got because I haven't got that product but most of this is brand new um, and stuff that I've not tried so I just thought I would come and do a get ready with me. Starting off with, I got this Conceal and Fix Pore Perfecting Primer. So this is what it looks like guys. Um, it's supposed to be quite a deep for e.l.f. Um, and you also get a little spatula. I'm just going to take a little bit either side. I, I'm really, really intrigued about this. This is like, so if it's so, it feels so creamy. It sent my face really white and pale. So it's not the bit that I've put on my face, just here, I've not been able to spread. It's gone in nicely, my pores look really nice. They really do look really nice actually. There's no pores, I'm quite impressed with that. So the next thing that I am trying is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This one is geared more to people with dry skin, but I'm just going to give you my first impressions on it oh this one's got a pump on it which i didn't realize this looks very pink toned to me so i've got this shade in f4 so i'm just going to use my brush and see definitely pink undertone to it um i'm a neutral not the ideal one but i can make it work so it definitely needs some more and my nose just on my forehead so this feels really lightweight i don't know what the claims are on this i don't know whether it's full coverage or not but i'm going to say it's not it's nice coverage it's absolutely beautiful but I am going to say that I'd, I see this more of a medium high and I use three pumps so which for me is about the norm then I have got the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer so I've got this one in C3 it's been dull all, my, all day and now the sun's come out to play got a big doe foot applicator and I'm just going to for me this isn't going to lighten I think it's more going to more like color correct for me that's lightened me under eyes slightly but not a lot, lot and I'm just going to take a little bit of the elf under eye setting powder and just set it slightly and see whether or not it is a good one and see whether or not it forms the lines under my eyes which yes I've, I've obviously got lines but that's actually really nice and I'm not being funny but that that was really good coverage on that concealer that's really pretty that is really really pretty so the next one is the revolution pro foundation pressed pass pressed powder foundation this is what the box looks like I am just going to take the same powder brush and just press it into my skin just so I can blend things on top and because I'm an oily girl I need powder and then I'm just swirling it around to get everywhere so that's the powder it has made me look a little bit more powdery more than I'm used to so maybe that will be a nice one to try just as a foundation and not as a as a powder that's what i'm trying to say so i haven't got any more revolution i haven't got a revolution bronzer to try so i'm going in with this revolution sculpt kit which i do really like i'm going to sculpt out my cheeks The Revolution Iconic in the Golden Hot. 
I'm going to use this bonza just to warm everything up. And actually, I did have a new palette to show you guys. I can't believe that. That'll have to come into another one. Now I feel like my face is a little bit more alive. I'm going to go into my Kiko eyebrow and just fill in. I'll fast forward this bit so you don't really have to watch this part. Today I'm going to be using the, the Roxy Colourverse palette. And I know this has been out a while but I just thought I'd give it a shot and see what happens. So starting off with I'm taking lavender which is the lavender shade and I'm just gonna put that in and above the crease that blended out really well I'll draw you in it's very powdery in the pan but if you tap off the excess you will find that it is not going to it's give me no fallout but it's blending like a dream and I'm just doing swirl motions backwards and forwards just to make sure it is as seamless as I want it to be. So then I'm going to go into Memories which is like this pinky purple colour. And with a smaller brush and put it on the Add to Potomy. I bet I'm going to really blend it in so that it's not as pinky as I want. So as you can see. I'm just going to build this up blend in the cut in the crease going back in with lavender just slightly and just blend them together taking the same brush and I'm going to go into golden hour and this one just here and just going to put that on my brow arch and all over the lid I think I'm going to be taking princess one just here so I'm going to start out with a nice flat brush and then see how it applies I have a sneaky suspicion this is going to be a shade that I am going to have to make wet Then I'm also going to go into peaches again on the same brush and mix these. I'm going to go into, I'm going to take the white shade and I'm taking, it's called Timmy. And I'm just going to pack that on because I don't like that colour. And see if I can change it, make it lighter. Not a big fan of that at all. Not with this look anyway. So I'm going back in with lavender. And I'm going to go back into memories. Just try and blend these two together. I did say try. On the bottom lash line I am just going to go in with memories. Quite under my lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm going to try and take, to say try and take into, this one's called Sky, it's like a silver. Going to go into this, this is the Roxy Contour and Highlight Palette, this is the one that I wanted to use. I am going to take a little bit of this light one just do just a little bit no i think i might take both of them and just to give myself a little bit more color and now for highlight i think i'm going to go into this like pink one first pink and the pink and the cream 
yeah, not very blinding, but might be better on a brush. Just would go in between the both of them. Um, so for me, this is a subtle highlight. I'm going to go into. I'm going to take the top three of these ones from Revolutions. These are old, but it's the only brushes that I could come up with. And I'm just going to sort of put them on my face. So, I have now got these Revolution, got this Revolution Plumping Lip Gloss in Peach. It's very stringy. It smells of pearmint. Spearmint. It smells of spearmint. And I'm trying out the Revolution Glow Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I'll be back once I put my mascara on and give you the lowdown on what I think of the rest of these products. So guys, I'm finished with this makeup look and the standout product for me is the Revolution Conceal and Fix Putty. My pores look beautiful. I, I'm so shocked. And I, I know I've heard good things about it, but my pores look like they're not there. And that's weird for me. Really, really impressed with this. And the same with this. Obviously, I don't know how long this is going to last on my oily skin type. But the concealer and the, the foundation and the concealer of the Revolution Hydrate, my skin looks gorgeous and I mean gorgeous I don't know if that's got anything to do with the primer but these three together these are beautiful it went on I don't feel like I'm caked in makeup at all this is a beautiful combination yeah revolution is always does as good on base product on revolution always does good on base products the next thing that I'm a bit iffy on, this is the Revolution Glow Fix. It hasn't done much more than what the foundation already had on. Um, it's a nice sprayer. It, go, it settles down nicely. There's no spots or anything like that. So it's nice. It doesn't smell nice. So... For me, that's, it's one of them things. Now, the powder, now, that did make me feel very powdery. But it is a powder foundation, not just for going over. So, like a translucent powder. So, for me, this one will probably be one that I need to test out as a powder foundation. The three that I'm not that interested in, the rest of the products I've used before and I love. That's why they're still here in my collection. So this one is the Pout Balm and this is the Peachy one. And don't get me wrong, it's not sticky. It's not mm, when you put lips together. It's really nice. But that peppermint smell is still not going away. It's still on my lips now and it's been a good, what, half an hour? And I can still feel it on my lips, which I don't like. So it's not this. It is the fact that I don't like the peppermint taste. Because then even my cup of tea is tasted like peppermint. And I don't want that in my cup of tea. Beautiful colour. Does go on extremely streaky as well, which I'm not, not too impressed with. Um, this is the maximum opaque you can get it to the next things 
so I'm only going to go on the highlighters here on this contour palette and they are yeah when whenever revolution do highlighters with a influencer they don't seem to be as good as their normal ones and you can see where I've I don't know if you're gonna see in there but where I've swatched them it's actually got hard pan on it already and I've used it once obviously I will have to keep trying this out but as of now I'm not over keen on it and it's got finger marks all over it it's without package and it makes everything look dirty so the next one is the revolution roxaurus color burst palette now when i first looked at this because it's been put away for so long and this is the first time i'm looking at it i was excited now i'm coming to the realization that this year i'm going to start wearing colors that i actually like to wear and don't have to go out my comfort zone for but can still come with lots with palettes and she says that she's got mascara all over her eye because that works doesn't it oh go it's gone now these bright colors really don't do it for me anymore it's nice to have a bright collection don't get me wrong you know so you can come to them but you know the first like the first lavender color that went down gorgeous the memories i had to build and build and build and i'm like where's the payoff there's no payoff and then i went into princess and it was like it looks peachy in here but it looked horrible it still does my eyes look patchy i'm not impressed i'm not a big fan of this eyeshadow palette obviously i've got to give it more than one go this is a first impression but would I rush out and buy this palette? No. Would I advise anybody else? No, you're better off getting the £4 ones that they actually do and are better quality. Then, I'm sorry, but sometimes influencers ones aren't, aren't as good quality as you want them to be. My conclusion is everything from the palettes, I'm afraid, and the lipstick. Because even now, the lipstick is like balling up here and it's it's coming off it's not nice anyway hope you guys enjoyed this uh, revolution get ready with me we'll see where we go from here and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm not bashing anybody it's my preferences i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye